So in this first video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic piece of code using the code editor and download it onto your micro bit. Now, as you can see, I'm using a Mac here. Um, I'm going to show you one version with a Mac, and then I'm going to put another version on with a PC, and then I'm going to switch to a PC. Once you've done it once, uh, it doesn't matter which device you use, uh, they're both pretty much the same. It's just the way you get it on these apps are slightly different. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the Make Code Micro Bit website, Make Code Micro Bit, and just search now. The top link here, the Microsoft Make Code, for microbit is the one that I typically use all the time. The reason being I find this nicer to use than the original um, microbit one that they developed. Colors are a little bit nicer and some of the uh, items are in a bit more of a logical manner. Now you see on the left hand side here you've got the emulator which will play any program you've made. Um, so it looks exactly the same on a PC or on a Mac. Now I'm going to create a really quick program here which if I click on my basic and then I'm going to go to show string. I'm going to click, hold down with the mouse, drag, and then drop. And then what I'm going to do, because it's all grayed out, so it means it's not going to play, I'm going to put it inside the forever loop. So this program now is just designed to show a string called hello. And you can see straight away the emulator's picked that up and it starts playing. Now when you're ready to download this to a PC, it's always good practice to change the file name here the bottom so I'm just going to call this hello and um, basically just to give it a file name so I know then which one I'm downloading otherwise it'll just be untitled one and title two and title three so once I've named it I'm going to click on download and it's going to then prepare the program as a hex file for me and it said no it's basically done the hex file and downloaded it for me so you can see there now that message will automatically disappear or if you click the done it'll also go. Now if I click on my downloads folder which is in the top of Safari um, I can see I've got one file there called microbit hello hex. If I click on the magnifying glass next to it it'll then open my downloads folder and what I can do is I can click hold down the mouse and drag it to my microbit because I've already got the microbit plugged in. And once I leave go, what will happen is the, it'll send this program, as you can see at the bottom there, it's copying down to the micro bit. So the micro bit will start flashing and it sends the program down. What then will happen is the micro bit will basically play whatever program you've put in. Now, as you can see, this is on a forever loop, so it's always just going to display this. If I had this on an input, I'd have to then press an input for it to actually work. So that's how you do and download things on a Mac.